Hi, yeah, I hope you're keeping well. Today I'm going to do like a quick, easy, bit of a school run makeup. Um, just little bits and pieces that can make a huge difference if you haven't got a lot of time in the morning. So I hope you enjoy. As always, everything I've used is listed in the description of the video. So if you click to make the video full screen, the title will come up along the top. Click the arrow next to it and a full list of everything will drop down. Okay, the first thing I've done is used an SPF on my face and I've left it about 10 minutes or so before I come to do my makeup. So if you think about your morning routine, what's the first thing you do? Maybe you brush your teeth first thing, in which case leave your SPF by your toothbrush. Maybe you come downstairs and make a cup of tea first thing, in which case leave your SPF by the kettle. Wherever you will remember to do that before everything else, put it in that place and work it into your routine. The first thing I'm going to do all over, no prizes for guessing, I'm going to take the CC cream in the shade light medium from It Cosmetics all over. What I would say to you is whatever your chosen uh, complexion product is, I would just say, you know, the slightest little touch if you did want to just be really quick and easy and out the door, can sometimes just take the edge off if you've not had the best night's sleep or maybe you've got a bit of a redness flare, anything like that. Um, by all means, I never want you to think from these videos that I'm saying you must do this or that. I mean, if you saw me half the time, I don't even wear makeup if I'm popping out and about. But if you want something quick, that's gonna make you feel polished. That's really what this video is designed for. Just to give you a little idea of what is achievable in a short space of time. Another thing I would just mention, as you can see here, I've put that on the back of my hand and I'm picking up as much as I need as I go along. Sometimes if you put things straight onto your skin, if you've put too much product there, it can be hard to blend and that can take ages to do. Whereas building it up at your own pace and just adding what you need means that you're not going to be there blending all morning and wasting time. Okay, I'm going to take what's left around my eyes. It's nearly gone now, but uh, one of the reasons I haven't really done videos in a while, I mean, to be honest, I just had a bit of time out. Life happens sometimes, doesn't it? But what also happens to me when life happens is my skin happens and that eye has had, uh, I don't fully know what it is to be honest, I think it's a patch of dermatitis, but it's flared up several times and I haven't been putting any makeup on it, but touch wood, I'm hoping it will be okay today. Um, I've left it for a really long while and it's been okay, but what I would also just say is if your foundation is a perfect, perfect match for your complexion, then if there's areas you want to skip or avoid, it's much easier to do that. And I know that sounds really obvious, but I have mentioned in previous videos that I tend to go a little bit warmer with my foundation because it helps me to neutralise the redness. And so it's just worth keeping these things in mind. In the interest of saving time, it's great to have a really good colour match. Now, four minutes in, I mean, admittedly, I've been having a chat. One of the things I would say is if you don't have time to do a lot of things make sure you do something to kind of seal this in place for the day. My chosen tool would be the It Bye Bye Pores powder. Whatever setting powder you have, um, I feel like, you know, if you have more of a dry skin, maybe you prefer a setting spray. We all have our preferences, but putting that step in to help seal it in, you know, if you're doing the school run, you're probably running around doing a million different jobs that day and just give it the lasting power to last that bit longer if you're dropping off, then going to the supermarket, then going to work, whatever your routine looks like. Um, next, I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of brow pencil. One of the things I think that your brows can really do is even if you have like the simplest makeup on, and you've not really gone into loads of fancy eyeshadows or whatever. If you have a nice bold lip on and your brows are groomed, the whole look looks put together. I always think you look like you've spent more time than you have. So I would definitely say, even if you're not running powder through them, uh, just giving them a brush through can make all the difference to how polished everything looks. Right, now I'm going to put some mascara on. This can be a really brilliant tip for you if you're running around all day and you don't have time to touch up your makeup. I've done previous videos and reels about this. If you wanted to go and have a look at those, they're on this page. But basically, with mascara, you can get what's called a tubing mascara. 
Now, lots of mascaras are just kind of like an ink that coats your lashes and you'll notice that they smudge when you remove them or you get that kind of panda effect when you start to take them off. Whereas a tubing mascara, it works in a different way and it coats your lashes in like a rubbery polymer. And then when you come to remove it, it just crumbles away with warm water. Now, they're easy to find. If you Google tubing mascara, loads of mascaras are gonna come up. My favourite one is the Victoria Beckham Future Lash. Um, I really like the whole Victoria Beckham range, actually. But this particular one, I've used a number of different tubing mascaras to try because they're brilliant because you can put them on and forget about them. Victoria's is really um, soft and you have to build it. But it's lovely. It's definitely one of the... Because of the fact that it's this rubbery polymer... You want to be able to gradually build layers rather than straight away go in with too much volume and it feels a bit too much. So I'm just going to show you this one and you can guarantee that if you run around all day like a headless chicken, this will not smudge on you. It'll come off when you want it to come off with warm water. Okay, just coming on to a few finishing touches. I'm going to go in with some bronzer with an enormous brush. Bear in mind with your brushes that the larger they are, the quicker the job will be to get done. And I'm literally just pressing that bronzer into anywhere that I want to warm up. Um, I appreciate that I've been chatting through this, so it probably seems like a really long school run routine. But believe me, if we weren't chatting, this has been my kind of summer makeup, to be honest, and it takes two seconds and it's really easy to maintain. Another thing about makeup is that the more you wear, the more steps you have to top up. Whereas this is proper like school run, beer garden, really easy breezy makeup that when you've left the house, you don't have to fuss too much with. And this also, this whole routine, which <laughs> includes my lipstick as well, and I do mean that, when you're putting your mask on and off, it's not hugely interrupted because there isn't anything too much to interrupt, you know. Um, quick ode to nude sticks. If you're a busy person, if you're a busy mom, that's the wrong end. I can't recommend nude sticks enough. They're just lovely, multi-purpose, creamy sticks. They've got blushes, bronzers, highlighters. They've got a little brush at the end. That's what I keep taking off and putting back on. They're really easy and quick if you just want to add a little bit of zhuzh. Now, one thing worth keeping in mind, actually, for the school room. I'm going to use this with a brush just because, you know me and my redness. I have to always be mindful that I want to build colour rather than like rubbing off what I've just applied to cover any areas of redness. Sticks are super easy for the morning if you just wanna like swipe it on, smush it in, brilliant, you do that. But the one thing I would say, and I know this is really pedantic, but if you've then smushed it all in with your hands, you've gotta clean your hands. So if you're even, you know, lazier than me, and I don't even wanna have to do that, like find a tissue and this, that, the other, just keep your brushes buy your makeup quick like that is as good as anything and you've still got clean hands. I'm gonna take a little bit of highlighter now. Highlighter, like yes, this is maybe a bit of an extra school routine. However, this is what's gonna get you out of a tight corner when you've had no sleep. If your children are young, if you've been busy, you might have had a great night out, whatever is going on. The highlighter is the key to everyone going, oh, didn't you get a nice night's sleep last night? It's super soft, it's not too much, but it picks everything up. And then finally, controversial for the school run. Listen, if you're in a rush and you just want something nice, I usually use that little tinted lip balm from It Cosmetics, the Je ne sais quoi. That's a really lovely one. However, you know, that didn't take all day. Admittedly, we've been having a chat, but it didn't. If you were to put a nice bright red lippy on, you will look like you've spent loads of time on your makeup. I'm gonna go in with, this is Lost Cherry from Charlotte Tilbury. And there we go. Do you see what I mean? It just gives a lovely lift to the complexion. And another thing I would say, I've purposefully chosen a really nice red. I've got quite asymmetric lips. I'd usually have to kind of even them out with a lip liner. No one cares. Like all I see now is that I feel like my complexion has a bit of life in it and that's what someone will see when they see you. So it's just, I think it really does just lift the spirits to have that little pop of colour in there if you have time. And then last but not least, it is worth mentioning, I've only just started using those clips myself to be honest, but 
having everything off your face before you begin, it just gets the job done so much quicker. So put something like that, buy your makeup bag, a scrunchie, clips, whatever it is for you. Well, there we go. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. I hope back to school goes well this week, if that's what's happening for you. Um, but have a lovely rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.